Well, hello, hello. I'm author and entrepreneur, Beast Cerebral Palsy, Vigilante, Zachary Pinnell. And another phrase that also describes me is sponsored athlete, is I am sponsored, as you may already know, by Team IBB. And a couple of months ago on YouTube, I shared that Team IBB president and founder president, the very successful small business extraordinaire, James Schleicher, and I were going to do a marathon this October. And it's been a couple of months, and I thought that I actually just got back from a uh, short 8.7 mile workout, and I know what you're thinking, 8.7 miles, that, yeah, short, what are you, that's crazy, that's, you know, I, yeah, my, I don't even do three miles in a week. It's like, you just did 8.7. But, you know, put that into perspective, that's not even a third of what a marathon is. A marathon is 26.2 miles. So, and, yeah, so that puts into perspective that, you know, really how much that 8.7 is. And I just got back from that. It's the middle of August. And it's funny because initially I was ahead of schedule with my, um, with my plan, my preparation to get ready for the marathon. My goal was by the beginning of August, so by then, by the first week of August, I would be doing the equivalent of a marathon in a week. So whether that'd be like two 10 mile walks and a 6.2 mile walk or three nine, nine mile walks, which would actually be more than a marathon. The point was, you know, that was the goal. And I was actually got ahead of that goal and I was doing, you know, the half marathon distance by the end of July and but the, also the end of July was I had a couple of setbacks that then actually set me back. It made me inactive last week in training. The week before, it roughed me up. Basically what happened, there's two parts to it. The first part was a fall I had on towards the end of July. I was... I just had lost concentration, and I, there's a little uh, um, step down between the sidewalks blocks, and I fell and I cut my finger open, and it you know I can be able to see from this distance, but I cut my finger open, you know nothing too horrible, but I you know I was able to get myself up just like I normally do. And as I started walking, getting ready to walk again, all of a sudden, I just didn't feel good. Like I had this, and I, and I found a spot where I could just lean against and relax. And as soon as I my body relaxed, my vision started getting blurry. And it was a, you know, it was very scary. I ended up having to, uh, you know sit down and I probably sat I was probably sitting on the side of the road uh, for five a busy street too uh, Mayfield Road so anyone in my area familiar with that you know I was seeing I was sitting there probably five minutes I drank whatever water I had with me the rest of the water I had with me and I actually think though know, that might have been the help cause the fall with not only concentration, but I wasn't hydrate, keeping myself hydrated. And so in in falling, I actually broke the water bottle I did have. And my friend Kelsey last year when I, I saw her at an event and I was telling her about my goal to do a half marathon. Uh, mentioned to me the, the hydration belt that 
runners wear and to what I'm wearing right here. And so I went after that hydration scare, I went out, got myself a hydration belt. So, and it's really nice, but it took me, you know, standard shipping for, I ordered online standard shipping. So it took a little bit to get here. So I wasn't doing too many distances while I was waiting for the belt to get here. At the same time, this is the second element, is I got in a pair of athletic shoes. And see, what happened was, you know, I, the idea to do, use athletic shoes was, I've, I talked to a couple of individuals who've done marathons or the equivalent to marathons, and I kind of realized that what I use, my tennis shoes, really aren't the best uh, gear for doing a marathon. And so I thought, let me get some athletic shoes. I got a pair of athletic shoes I could fit and insert my inserts in, and it just did not go over well. I did a 3.1 mile, of basically a 5K uh, workout in them, fell, bruised up my knee, you know, gave it a couple of days, came back. I was going to wear them again, try to, you know, get used to them, go for another short walk. Fell, not even a third of a mile in. Busted up my knee, the same knee again. And I had a, so last week I took time off just to let my body heal, to let my knee heal, to get the get my hydration belt here so I can start going distances again without having to worry about dehydration, taking care of myself. And so those kind of things put me in setbacks. So this today I did 8.7 miles earlier this week. On Tuesday I did 9.3 and those are distances I want to get up to more and Obviously, because uh, yeah, a marathon is 26.2 miles, it's a challenge. And I'm glad, I'm excited that I've taken up on this challenge. I'm glad James Schleicher has pushed me, Team IBB president, uh, and my dear friend James pushed me to do this because it's a challenge right now. The Big thing I'm debating about is whether or not I should use my cane when I do the marathon. And I have to decide soon because I have a little, I have a month and a half left of, left of training to get ready for this. And if I decide I want to use my cane, I need to start using it in my practice, which was another item suggestion to me from the individuals I talked to. Uh, who have done a marathon before. And I think that's really for you out there, anyone watching this, you know, looking to have, following my journey to do this marathon and whatever that takeaway for you is, you know, or find, trying to find a takeaway for yourself. It's whatever you want to do. And I've, I said this in my, the video where I, did, where I shared that I was going to be doing this marathon. It seems like such an unreasonable thing. I don't care how unreasonable something seems. If you want to do it, figure out a way to do it. And the best, one of the best ways to do that is to talk to people who've done what you want to do. Get their advice. You know, sometimes, you know, the advice works out, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, and I mentioned with the athletic shoe, that didn't work out. I just decided to go back to my regular tennis shoes. I'm comfortable in them. I don't really, you know, people told me after I told them my experience with the athletic shoes, like, oh, you need to go to a, a second sole and you need to have them custom make something for you that is for you. And I stubbornly said, no, I'm like, you know, I think I'm good. I think I'm going to stick with my tennis shoes. And you know what? Maybe if I had more time to do, to prepare for this marathon, I would go to 
second sole and i would have those shoes made and then i would have time to get adjusted to them but i have a month and a half to get ready i don't have that time to fool around these shoes are comfortable a tip another tidbit that i was given to me that has been helpful was to get dry fit socks i have a i'm wearing adidas dry fit socks and they are amazing uh, and not even just for you know training they're just i'm gonna i think i'm gonna do a blog post about recommending them to just like in general if you have mild cp and you, you know walk you know walk around all day or something like they they just take they help really absorb the blows of your feet and they're a great thing so you know john quinn and you know was the one who brought up those ideas and i figured just with the socks you know that you know having the socks taking care of having a better foot care routine that i that i have now that should help keep any blisters down you know and i can wear these tennis shoes that I feel comfortable in that I feel balanced in and there you no know, that's the progress you know so my you know I guess what you know make a long story short what you should get out of this is basically whatever you want to do I don't care how unreasonable it sounds no it's re you know know that if you sit down and you prepare and you game plan that it can be done it you can do it and you know a big part of game planning that preparation the first thing you should do is find people who've done what you want to do talk to them and get their advice you know with like sometimes with the athletic shoe like i just you know you gotta know yourself and know sometimes that the advice someone gives you isn't going to be best for you but so know yourself but get that advice from other people and use what will be appropriate for you thank you for watching i uh, hope you continue to follow me as i train for this marathon in the next month and a half and you know i hope you'll be with me uh ex you know excited when i cross that finish line and i can call myself a marathoner if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you have any comments on it uh leave your comment in the comment section obviously where comments go and uh, if you haven't already subscribe to my youtube channel i put out new youtube videos every sunday take care everyone